everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by today we're going to do our vacation to pigeon forge tennessee but i'm also going to share where we stayed along the way in clyde north carolina we rented an airbnb cabin there that was built in the early 1900s it was really pretty very clean they had everything that you needed there it was in a really nice secluded kind of area there was houses around it but it was just in a really nice spot with the mountains um, a beautiful view of the mountains and just everything you could need to spend time with your family they had a hot tub front porch picnic tables grills it was only half a mile from the pigeon river um they had fire pits and um they had a really pretty gazebo with a swing that you could look at the mountains it was just a really peaceful place to take your family to just get away from it all and the busyness of life and we just really enjoyed it we will definitely be going back It's cold. Cold. Oh, oh, you got the dog and I had taken a ton of videos um, at the lake and at the cabin, but I accidentally deleted all of that footage. So I only had what my husband had on his phone, so we didn't have as much, but we really did enjoy our time there. So then we moved on to our condo that we're staying at through our timeshare there in Sevierville, Tennessee. And this is the first time that we took our kids to this Beyond the Lens and um, they did the fly ride which they really enjoyed even our three-year-old thought it was great she really thought she was on a plane she was afraid that we were leaving her dog she's like mom we can't go to another country and leave our dog <laughs> so that's how realistic it was to her and um, i thought it was really neat our kids really enjoyed it our kids enjoyed this place a lot they had a lot of games and just a lot of fun exhibits for them to enjoy and it wasn't really busy at the time that we went, so we didn't wait in lines and they got to just do whatever they wanted to do over and over. And so it was really nice. Definitely would highly recommend it if you've never done it and you're looking for something new to do in that area.
is it, Bailey? What is it? Babies. Lots of babies, huh? Yeah. Oh, this one's so cute. Look at these little ones. Oh, yeah. Look how cute. Yeah, they're so cute. They have a bunch of different yeah, ones. But I got six. But I only got bunch. Something I've always wanted to do every time we vacation the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg area is to do the Laurel Falls and we just never have had a chance to so we said we were going to do it this time and it was really nice. It is hiking to the top of a mountain basically so it is pretty much straight uphill for the 1.3 miles. Um, so our three year old was not really a fan of that but we still had a really good time and it was it was definitely worth it um, even though we did um, end up carrying her a good bit of the way. On the way back, it's all downhill, so it's a lot easier. She did walk for a good bit of that way. So just keep that in mind. If you ever go there and you have a small one, you're probably going to end up carrying them. We did see people with strollers, which was a little crazy because the sidewalk was all messed up. So I'm not really sure how they did it unless they carried those things most of the way. But we still had a good time and it was really pretty and worth it. As you go around this corner and start up the hill um, past that little patch of trees on the left, there is a field there on the left. That is where my husband proposed to me. And it's funny because we were actually there on the day of the anniversary of that. So the day that he proposed to me. So that was a really special thing that we got to share with our kids. And we always enjoy going to Kate's Cove. We usually do it every time and we don't ever really get tired of it. We enjoy doing it. We usually always see some form of wildlife. Um, today we saw a bear, which I wasn't able to get a video of it was way up in the woods but we did get to see one our kids got to see it so that was really neat and right here is the area that he proposed to me with the mountains in the background it was a really special area december we will have been married 12 years so time flies but we really enjoy this place we always enjoy coming here and just seeing what we can find
Standing up. Mm -hmm. But to me and mommy still went outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It really did. But that was right now because that was trying to buy some food. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I want to see. All right. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh. Wait, wait, let it, oh, what are you doing? You had to. Oh, that worked great. <laughs> She's moving it where she wants it. <laughs> I'll do that myself. I just did that. <laughs> you I did. Oh, yeah! <laughs> We're gonna go over the houses. But I don't wanna go. This is the first time that we'd ever done Anakisa. My sister and her family had come and they really enjoyed it. So we um, thought we'd go try it and we really liked it. There was a lot to do for the price. We actually looked at doing chairlift ride on the other side of the mountain and it was what the tickets cost to come to Anakisa. You get the chairlift ride and all the other fun things that we, you'll see in this video that the kids did um, for that price. Now, if you eat there or anything like that, of course it's extra and there is a couple rides that are cost, you know, you have to pay for it. But for the most part, it was a really fun thing, and it wasn't that bad expensive for a family of five to go. And we really enjoyed it. It's definitely worth it if you've never done it before to try it. It's really nice. They also say at night, my sister came at night, and she said it was absolutely beautiful um, to do at night as well. Bella, look up there. It's just Daddy and Colton and Jaden. This was our kids' favorite spot. They love this area right here. Stanley, not so much. He was trying to help Bella across, 
and he had his work boots on. They were really slick. He was falling. And, well, he never fell, but he was slipping and sliding. Bella was falling, and they were having a hard time getting across. Here in a minute, you'll hear him say, tell me it's nothing like this one, because Colton's like, Dad, you only got one more to go. I just died laughing. It was hilarious. <laughs> A hot dog? You yeah. just ate. Dad, it's a hot dog on your shirt. No. It's a shirt. one. That's not a hot dog. That's a sun. It's a hot dog. No, oh, no. Hot dog. Hot dog. Yeah. You like this place? We always end out our vacation by stopping at the Applewood Grill for either a breakfast or an early lunch. It's just tradition. We've always done it, and it's something that we always usually do before we head back home. Do you find more, Bilbo? That one you can pick up, huh? Oh, well, it's really got muscles in it. Yeah. Go here, move, move. 